We are your home theater and AV questions answered. This is AV Rant. Want your home theater or AV question answered by Tom and Rob? Send it to question at avrant.com. Welcome to AV Rant. I'm Tom Mantry and I'm here with Rob H. Brett. Brett just added a 40 inch Samsung U, uh, KU 7004K UHD TV to his office and is having some audio problems. He has a JBL LS. R thirty uh, three hundred five powered monitors and the JBL LS R three ten S subwoofer fed by balanced XLR cables from a complete with a K audio six connected to his desktop to PC via USB. I'd look this up. It is basically a little uh, uh, USB external sound card with uh, microphone inputs and all of that. That's right. Yeah. Uh, he has two HDMI cables running from uh, to the TV, one from the PC's video card and one from his PS4. He runs an optical audio output of the TV to a two-channel DAC that feeds analog inputs uh, one and two on the complete audio six. When using the PS4 as a source, the PS4 feeds the TV signal via HDMI and the optical out from the TV feeds the complete audio six. This works fine. To switch between PC audio and TV audio, he can just press a button on this uh, uh, external sound card to complete audio six, which I hate saying because it sounds <laughs> – I can see that it starts with the K, but nobody else can see right. it. So far, so good. But when playing video from the Samsung TV's built-in apps, all he gets is a loud pulsing sound. He's experienced this before when uh, the complete audio six was sent a bitstream signal. Setting the audio signal to two uh, channel PCM fixed that issue. The Samsung output is already set to PCM though. So what is the problem here? Uh, internal amps, I think, bypasses that and bit streams out Dolby Digital. Don't they all do Dolby Digital out, like two-channel Dolby Digital? Is that... Um, yeah, so I'm, as far as I'm aware, a lot of times when you go into one of the built-in apps, it doesn't follow the, the, the audio settings that you've done because the audio settings are basically for any of the inputs uh, yeah. or for the built-in tuner, but they don't seem to apply to the apps. The apps mostly have individual settings of their own that you have to set. So like Netflix has its own audio settings. The Amazon Prime app has its own audio settings. And I I think that's all that's going on here. Like you say, you already heard this problem Yeah, before. I would guess that was, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, yeah. I, I get why you're confused because you're like, I set the Samsung to output two-channel PCM, but unfortunately that doesn't always apply to the built-in apps. It applies to the HDMI inputs and to the built-in TV tuner. Uh, so I really think it's kind of as simple as that, and this might be some hunting through user menus in those built-in apps, but um, there should be an option in there to change them to stereo sound. It's not going to say PCM, most likely, uh, but all of yeah. them will have a stereo sound option and uh, that that should be the fix here uh there's one other way though <laughs> this last yeah thing. he wants to buy new gear <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he would like to buy the oppo ha1 uh which he thinks would look great in his office <laughs> which uh i'm okay with as long as it can it's take gonna have the same issue though it's not a decoder be digital. Either. yeah it's... yeah if it, if it doesn't have if it can't accept the the bitstream output it's you know then you're gonna be right in the same boat so i i had so... a slightly different thought what if he got one of those morant slimline receivers because those have that would stereo pre-outs, you know? That would fix all your problems right there. Yeah, yeah. the Slim Light receivers are pretty cheap uh, these days if you get them for accessories for less. Yeah, well, you can get less. like a, one that's like $350 from accessories for less. Now, all of a sudden, you have Odyssey Multi-Q XT. Um, you have a dedicated subwoofer output with a proper crossover that you could feed to your uh, to your JBLs, which I love those speakers, by the way. Um, so I think those are great. So... Yeah, I mean, considering that's considerably less expensive than that Oppo HA1, it's not the money, <laughs> it's not the price tag that would be objectionable. So now you can just feed HDMI audio directly. It does have decoders built in. You could send it Dolby Digital, it's no problem. It'll it'll uh, down mix that to 2.1 with absolutely right. no issue. Uh, so so if, it, if it were me, I'd get myself a Morant Slimline. That's how I'd handle it. Those this. are sexy little receivers too, so yeah. I'd, be, I'd be down with that. Want your question answered? Send it to question at avrant.com.
This is A.V. Rant. Now go out and listen to something.